Hey guys, today we get to talk about the new exciting format of Frontier. I'm going to leave my personal bias out of it. Frontier right now is hot, meaning the prices are moving. In particular, the price of one card, which is pretty much the symbol of the entire format, Jace, has gone up. And it's gone up significantly enough for me to make this video. If you have any interest in the Frontier format and you don't already own the staples, now would be a good time to pick them up or pick up as many of them as you can. I would not, I would urge you not to pick them up as a MTG finance or investment move. I would just say if, hey, you wanted to play in Frontier, then now is the time to get into the format if you already don't have the card. Hanging Back Walk is an interesting one. It's definitely a card that can be played in multiple decks and it has been going up in price. So when you look at its price chart, today it's $4. When it rotated out all the way to the bottom, it was a lot less. It was like $2 or even less than $2. So it has doubled in price since the new Frontier format, which is interesting. But I like the format. I don't feel like it is a cash grab. Tiny Leaders was 100% a cash grab. I can say that in hindsight. You have the inventors of Tiny Leaders trademarking. A trademark is ex extremely expensive. They want to get a trademark on Tiny Leaders. Why would they do that? Instead of buying a box, a few boxes of Magic cards to draft with their friends, they saw money signs and Tiny Leaders had very little support from actual stores. MTG Frontier is supported by many stores and many writers. I don't get in my gut, I don't feel like it is a purely MTG finance move because it wouldn't make any sense. These cards just rotated out and there's plenty of them. They are in the modern printing set, meaning Cons of Tarkir, Dragons of Tarkir. These sets have been printed into oblivion meaning there are a ton of Jaces. There's way more Jaces than there is a Uncommon in Lorwyn or Evening Tide. So Jace is the face of, face of this format. Whether or not Frontier goes up or down can fully be dependent, can fully mirror Jace's price. So if Jace's price goes up or down, that probably tells you how popular the format is in. Jace does see a tiny bit of play in Modern, but he's not Snapcaster Mage, and he's largely the dominating force in this format. So let's see what Jace does. Like I'm very intrigued to see where his price is. His price has obviously spiked considerably up to $47 from the last time I made a video, and I feel like it will still go up. If he breaks $50, that's interesting. Can he break 70? If he breaks $70, I will have to say that people are invested in Frontier because there's no other reason he would break $70. Again, limited legacy play, limited modern play. Frontier, he is the most powerful card in that format. An interesting scenario is developing and I'm making this video to say if you have any interest in this format, it is now time to buy play sets of cards or trade for them. You should be able to trade for them quite easily. They are sitting in people's binders. A lot of a lot of casual players have never heard of Frontier. And these cards are not difficult to trade for at this moment in time. Now, what does the huge future hold for Frontier? I don't know. It could go the same way as Tiny Leaders. My gut tells me it won't go the way of Tiny Leaders only because Tiny Leaders was 100% a money grab because there were cards that were very old that suddenly spiked in price due to limited supply. The majority of the cards in Frontier compared to older cards, compared to Alpha, Beta, Invasion even, uh, just random cards, Onslaught, were printed a ton of. So I cannot see it being an MTG finance move for that reason, because it's illogical. They would have 
know, you know what's an MTG Finance move? 9394. That is the ideal MTG Finance move where all cards older, all cards newer than 94 cannot be played, or 93 and 94 cannot be played. And then that will spike cards on the reserve list, that will spike older cards. And that's the MTG Finance format. Now, Frontier is the exact opposite of that. We're using m most recent sets, which have been printed compared to older sets into Oblivion. That's why I feel like I can tell you that MTG Frontier is, at the very least, not a money grab by MTG Finance people, but out of real demand. Anyway, bye guys.